so let's have a look at the okay your victory is worthy of a true Roman the family of Julia can take pleasure in seeing the barbarous hairy Gauls driven to extinction slavery and worse this is a triumph and should be enjoyed continue playing oh yes so because that was red we are going to exterminate nice all right, fashion destroyed. Gaul, Gaul is gone. Right, and of course we uh, fingered, finger uh, the uh, what should we call it? <laughs> Population. <laughs> They're people. Right. Okay. So now we're going to deal with. Uh, actually, let's see, well, let me just see how long we've been. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Uh, yeah, I just want to see how long we've been recording for. That's an hour. Okay, cool. Another twenty minutes or so. About 20 30 minutes, you know what I mean? I always record like at least our sessions if I can. Okay, let's deal with Oscar now. So, who have we got to deal with? We have to deal with. Yeah, it should be a. Uh, should be Finger. What was that? 20 to 9? <laughs> nah. This should be a uh, slaughter. Oh, hopefully. Hannibal knew how to gain a victory, but not how to use it. Do you know, there's been some cases of that through history, I'll tell you that. Today we make our own fates. The omens may say that we face disaster, but I choose to think differently. Can any true man do otherwise? Over there stand the Spanish. They make a fine show in the field and are worthy enemies for us. They have been lulled into a false sense of security by a few feet of defensive wall, as if that will protect them. I have fought these men many times, and even now they must be praying to the this chair. <laughs> they will have little enough of it from me. By this time tomorrow, our sword arms will ache from overuse! <laughs> Hey, doing your speech. Nice. Okay, let's start the playbook. And the same as before. Brought up reinforcements in a pathetic attempt to save themselves. Actually, I'll tell you something. If the reinforcements can get here, they might actually um, be able to defend the, the settlement. Because they're coming from the south, well, the north. And they can get through this gate quite easily. Saying that though, is that the only reinforcements there? Because I'm swear there was two stacks of reinforcements coming, weren't there? <laughs> Alright, can I ask who's giving the orders here? <laughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> oh. oh, pardon. Yeah, we got reinforcements coming from over here as well. I'm telling you, because the uh, the nation's color is brown, it's really hard to make out where they are on this thing. Where they are on this. Right, well, anyway, we're getting the Rams in position. It should be. Yeah, the Rams are getting in position. Although, I do not like. Yeah, good. The Astarte is just out of range, I think. Well, this Astarte is going to get our, uh, arrows rained on them because of the, uh, the, guard, the guard tower. I don't know why I said that wrong, but hey -o. Do you know what? I always wanted to see if you could actually see who's in this. Do you know what? I mean, it makes me laugh, right? Because obviously it's a pillbox and you can see a little bit in it, but what I would really love is if, um, you know, you had maybe a couple of people up here, like, even if they're just standing there and not doing anything, at least, like, you can see there's somebody in here, but there's no ladders, there's no nothing. I just, I just think a little extra bits of detail could have been a little bit more, um, I guess, personally appreciated, you know? It's like, they've just stuck somebody up here and it's like, right, your job is to live in there and just fire arrows on any invasion. <laughs> Yeah, the Velites are uh, getting fire, but that's fine. Well, Velites are firing, but the question is, who's firing out? 
Ah, skirmishers. All right. Ah, there's lost. Of, they lost a few. Uh, a few troops. Okay. Gates down. Good. Oh, that's right. I don't think the reinforcements start coming in until you go into the settlement itself. <laughs> that's just gonna make our job a lot easier. Ah, oh, four little Iberian infantry. Yeah. Oscar's proud warriors, eh? I don't know what to think about Iberian infantry. Um, a lot of people say that they're quite uh, mediocre. Um, as far as I'm aware, they're decent. I don't know. Do you know, maybe I should do a video on what's the best infantry unit in the game. Maybe. Like, oh, I should go through... That's what I might do, actually. I might go through my own, like, personal opinions on every single faction's uh, troops. You know? I might do that for a set of videos for all. Uh, I should really do that in general for every game, really, that I play. Just doing, like, opinions on this, this, and this. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, my last video that I did, uh, what's the best mount for an archer, that... That is done really, really well. Like, you know, compared to the channel's average. To the channel's average. Um, General yeah, I mean, I'm, I was really super impressed with that video that I made. Really happy about that one. So, uh, maybe. Maybe not. I mean, I've got so many ideas to do for the channel, you know, like little mini series like that, random videos. But, of course, the main meat and potatoes will be the playthroughs, that's for sure. So I just rearranging my, uh, I think it, rearranging my, uh, headset. Okay, oh, looks like the general's getting involved. Cool, kill the general. Simple as that. Come on, he needs to die. Oh, don't let him go. Ah, damn it. <laughs> it's alright, I mean, it's pretty much done now. Although the reinforcements are starting to come in now, so... That's ah, fine, we're going to be beating them on the uh, thing anyway. The um... going to be beating them anyway. So, it looks like... This reinforcement is going to have to come in through here. The north reinforcement is going to come in through the gate. So, we might be able to take the square before they come. And then we can concentrate our forces there and repel them. Oh! <laughs> oh, he died to a little poke. Who would have thought? Come on, General Body. Uh, Brown Shield. Yeah, Brown Shield Cavalry. Is it? The Round Shield Cavalry, like the only cavalry that uses swords in the game? That's a good question, actually. Might be the only sword cav in the game, I didn't think about that. Um. Yeah, I think. I think all the other cavalry uses either spears, lances, or. Um, I think one of them uses axes, I think. Oh no, I'm stupid. Yeah, bow cavalry, they use swords when they're in melee, of course, what am I thinking? Yeah, but then again, I mean... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, uh, the desert cavalry. The camels, uh, camel riders, I believe they're called. Am I thinking of the, uh, the bow variant of them? No, 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 there's a sword variant of the, um... Yeah, the sword variant. Of the camels, aren't they? Yeah, I think. Yeah. Well, I guess in a sense, if you think about it, the Round Shield Cavalry is like the only European version of that. The only sort of cavalry in Europe, I guess. I guess the rest use lances, I think. I don't know. I don't know where the fuck I'm going with this. Anyway, here's the town militia. <laughs> really? The, really? The Velites are going to engage? <laughs> it's like, yeah. That'd be interesting. Anyone else going in? No, not really. <laughs> He's just got this huge blob of Astarte here. And the Velites are just... <laughs> the Velites are just defeating the town. Town militia. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's a... Here's a general now. 
<laughs> Don't worry, guys. I'm here to help. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. <laughs> God be praised. Uh, okay. Enemies' hearts are full of fear, and now they flee. Okay, come on then. Up you come. Up you come, skirmishers and Iberian infantry. Well, I just noticed the Iberian infantry uses the same uh, model as the round shield. Yeah, I didn't know that. Okay. Enemy cats instead. Great gods be praised. The enemy general is killed. Oh, Jesus Fear Christ, the Velt is gonna die here. Hearts. Ah well. They're expendable. If anything, I mean if a unit dies it just means less army upkeep and more profits to put towards everything else. <laughs> That's the way you just gotta look at um, your soldiers, really. I mean, games like uh, XCOM where you have customized soldiers and stuff, I mean, yeah, you, you get an attachment with them. I mean, I'm recording this like a few days, actually, it's about five days or so after I finished uh, XCOM 2, and I'm already itching to play it again. <laughs> In fact, I. Uh, I re-downloaded, um, oh, excuse me, I uh, reinstalled all the DLC again, and I'm just doing uh, like a quick little modded playthrough of um, What the Chosen. Um, in terms of mods, it's nothing massive. It's like 50 mods, literally. Uh, what am I running? I'm running the Chimera classes mod, which is like a 10 class pack mod, uh, mod pack, excuse me. Um, just some. Just some voice mods and rocket launchers mod. Um, the enemy army is in flight. I think that's all in my head. I think that's about it, really. It's nothing much. It's just generals. little bits in here. I'm just doing a quick one just to just to scratch that itch, you know. <laughs> all right. Well, anyway, that's all I could take us to let's stone the population. That'll uh, bring us a public order to some degree. And then there we go. Okay, so we've finally got our foothold into Iberia then. That's really nice. So So I've kinda got two targets right now. Um mainland Britain uh Unify France mainly Conquer Spain and then I kinda think in Namidia actually. If we can get Namidia and we can get at least one German settlement. That means that we literally split one half of the world, or one half of the map. And I think that'll be really good. Although, holy hello. It's a good thing I saw that. Oh no. They have bull warriors? Fuck. Wow, they have bull warriors. Hold up, let me uh, let me give you a quick par comparison. So, 13, 17, 12, let's say, 13, 17, 12, compared to an Astarte, which is 8, 12, 14, right? Let me find a Principe. I know there's definitely one here. Which is 8, 12, and 16. So even though our Roman infantry has a little bit better defense. That means jack all the bull warriors, trust me. They are really dangerous. Anyway, to be honest, we do have a big... Actually, do you know what? I think we'll engage with our stack now. How long have we been recording for? 45, oh, 46. Okay, I think we'll make this the last battle of the night, and then I'll call it a session. But basically... Uh, come on, game. <laughs> I hate it when it does that. Interrupts the flow. Yeah, we'll attack these guys, bringing it to 1 to 1. See, even though we're outnumbering them 2 to 1, still, I mean, <sighs> what it is, is those bull warriors. It's the bull warriors and the naked fanatics. But I mean, to be honest, we are losing. We have lost quite a bit of thing. I don't know if we should be doing this, but fuck it. We should be alright. 
Hey, if we could take another Spanish family member dead, I'll take that any day of the week. So, we'll make this the last video and then... Last video? Last battle now. Call it a session. Today, I think we should send many of them to the afterlife. They have been led here by strutting fools and blustering morons. Now they will pay the price. Many times I have faced these people, and still they are too stupid to learn their lesson. Today, men will die to teach them afresh that they should simply run away. Today, the carrion birds feast, but they will feast upon our enemies, not on good Roman flesh! Ooh. <laughs> that sounded really nice, that, especially towards the end. Right then. See if we can do this then. So we got two units of uh, cavalry, equites. We got a lot of a lot of ranged units actually, and we have some uh, front units as well. Oh, I just noticed we got fucking town militia, town watch. Really? Town watch? Dude. Okay. Actually, I think the slingers should be getting to position, and actually, I think they're in range. Why not? Oh, okay. Let's get a little closer then. I'll be definitely in range after this then. <laughs> I love that when the cavalry are just thinking past the uh thinking past the um the infantry just knocking them out of the way. It's funny as. Okay, we should be in range. Yep, the Polaris slingers are firing already. Telling you, I mean, the range on slingers and the archers is absolutely crazy. I mean, they're already dealing some damage to. Uh, I think they're doing some damage anyway. I think they are. Yep. Oh, yeah. You can see the. Um, you can see the, the little pallets moving. Uh, Storms, pardon. The rest of the infantry are breaking off. I would move back if I was you. Come on, Valtes, run back. Actually, they're running right past the skirmishers. This is crazy, this. Oh, they're actually pulling everyone back. Interesting. Right, yeah, now we're charging them. Okay, come on. Bring me that general's head, please. See, look, see, that's... Bull Warriors are pretty much, like... How can I explain? So, Scrutii is to Histati what the Bull Warriors are to early legionnaire cohorts. That's the best way to describe it. Bull Warriors are really, really strong, but if anything, we dealt a bit of damage to them. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, we did some damage to him. That's fine. I don't know how low you have to put a stack to until they're destroyed. I think you have to do the whole 80% thing. But if anything, <laughs> it's retreated all the way back there. Right, well, if anything, that will uh, stop him from taking any of our settlements anyway. Well, sieging them at least. Alright, let's get Fanny in here. That's like my new name for him, Fanny. <laughs> Right, apart from that, um, I think that's about it. I think we're decent. Yeah, we're taking Mattia, we're taking Finger. Uh, can we take these guys away? Uh, let's just all resolve these. Yeah. So they're dead. Good. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty much finished for the day. Um, let's just go and turn and we'll see what happens because I'm still waiting for that boat up at Samuel Breaver. I might have to construct one myself, I think. Oh, did you see that? Whole stack in that Darcian settlement. Okay, Egypt, what do you want? They want trade rights? Of course. Fe uh, Egypt is a very wealthy country. Trade rights for them, especially when we have ports. Beautiful. Oh, there's a bit going on in, in a thing here. Okay, where is this on the map? This is here. Uh, yeah, we should be able to beat him. There we go. Good enough. 
Right, okay. Oh, shit. What was the uh, the Senate mission? I forgot. There was a Senate mission, wasn't there? Oh, yeah. Lung denim. Not happening. Not happening. Okay, I'm going to turn report. So we made a lot of money this time. Brilliant. Medallarium expands. Um, Alessio expands. We're the most advanced faction. We've got a new family member, Nero Didius. Ugh, Nero. Jesus. And Sextus Anthony has a foreign dignitary plus one to influence. Interesting. And that's our thing to. And that's our uh, diplomat. We need to try and use our diplomat a bit more. I mean, to be extremely honest, I, I, I rarely use diplomats, you know. Anyway, uh, we got the Large Temple Ceres and Arimimium, uh, the Suicide Suggester, the Great Forum in Batavium, and Crop Rotation in Medellanum. Right, so let's have a look. So Trier's is looking a bit uh, um, Let's have a look. Yeah, it's because he's in the military, that's why. Uh, we could go balanced. Yeah, balanced looks about right. They'll keep them happy. When it's come, we'll keep them the way they are. Uh, let's have a look through all our things. Start with Trier. So Suggest is fine. Medallarium, mm, it's not best, but I think that's all we could do for that. When we're going to come, what are they building? They're building paved roads. Paved roads might actually be pretty good for uh, advancing through the territory. Eretium looks fine. Patavium, that minus 2,000. I really do not know why that is minus 2,000. I do not know. Oh yeah, it's because a lot of the uh, the militaries from here in it. Yeah, of course the stacks and stuff. Of course it is. Right, well let's just go. Um, let's go financial. At least the uh, the thing is fine. The uh, public order. Remium's kind of the same. Levavum's good. Nomatia's fine. Oscar's fine. I'm still a bit worried about Condats and Redonum. I mean, you know. Communal farming. I mean, yeah, we got shrines to here, shrines to there, and stuff. But might as well keep it the way it is. Uh, Lemonum, yeah, palms fine. Yeah, everything's pretty much fine. Alessia, Long Dunham, Marsalia, yeah, back to Tria. All right, I think I'm gonna save it here then. Um, well, before I save it, I've learned my lesson now to check the recording before I save. But to be honest, I do a little test saves, and things look pretty good. So. Yeah, we'll just go back the way it is. So let's drop a save then. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be, that'll be it then. Right, so um, I hope you've enjoyed the session. Um, so, yeah, we're pretty much pouring into Spain now. We've got ourselves a nice foothold. So, right now, the plan is to try and get a boat built. I might actually turn this back to manual and build one so we can just get over here but to be honest Spain uh, the mainland Britain isn't exactly doing anything uh, do you want to take this uh, last British settlement on the mainland and then we can get Britain out of the way uh, I'm gonna conquer all of Spain and then I'm gonna make the crossing into the Numidian lands so that will give us a front for when we're ready to take on Scipi at least so basically, all this, I want red. That's the game plan for now. But in terms of anything minor, nothing really to note. So yeah, so anyway, um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a, a like, a subscribe, and a comment. The comment can be game related, non-game related, and I guarantee you a reply. So uh, yeah, again, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.